A 77-year-old American citizen is trying to fill her bucket list right now and more, but running into a big roadblock. The state of Minnesota won't give her an ID card. She spoke to our Rob Olson about this battle that's been stretching on now for years and why the state keeps striking her request. Hell. It's really been hell. It has been six frustrating years since 77 year old Carol McGinnis's old driver's license from Washington State expired when she began trying to get a simple state ID in Minnesota. I've tried everything. An effort that's led to letters to everyone from the president to the governor to the attorney general and many more to help to fix a problem because of records that don't exist. Because of that, I don't have documentation. What documentation? I don't have a marriage license or a divorce decree for Daryl Jordy. From your first marriage, which, from the first one, but which was not legal to begin with. Carol is mother to four kids, all born in California, and the first three from a man she married at age 16 in Tijuana, which never produced an actual marriage certificate. And it was a receipt from a cash register for $15. Did you know at the time it wasn't a legal marriage? No, I did not. It was only after she went to file for divorce nine years later, ahead of her second marriage, that she discovered the first one was never legal to begin with. The only thing the man ever gave me was three beautiful children. The problem now, it seems, is the legal marriage that changed her name to McInnes, which is on multiple legal IDs. Well, that marriage license shows she changed it from her first married name, which she never actually legally had. So there's no document to link her to the name on her birth certificate. She'd like to fly to see family, she says, but is stuck until she can get an ID. And I was born here, I've been here, raised my children here, my grandchildren, and I can't get it, I'm just a state ID so I can get on a plane. Robelson, Fox 9.